Uh, one thing that is uh, nice about this uh, setup is that if you're traveling uh, in a short, long distance, it goes in this case, which I showed you how to open, and it's uh, convenient to, uh, to store in your car, wherever you want to store it, and it's, it's just easy to take with you. All right, um, this product is uh, comes also inside the case. It's a one-year warranty. Uh, it's very good because it's uh, backed up by one of the uh, biggest and most popular names in the uh, industry. So all in all, this is a very good setup. When you uh, get the roller out of the um, uh, case, the you have the electric uh, cord and that will hook up if i can find it i just had it here it is it's on the back take the cord plug it in this end and of course on the other end on your outlet uh, it comes on top you'll see the standard uh, safety warning that is um, just about every electric product you buy. Uh, some of it is very common sense about using it in water and uh, other things that you should be careful with uh, when using any electrical product. All right, the first step obviously is electric, so you have to plug it into an outlet. And there's a button in back, the switch. Make sure you turn it on. A little blue light comes on, so that shows you that it's ready to go. And we're gonna show you how to put the tobacco in. And it's just a matter of then closing it up and hitting the button. And that's what we're about to show you. I put in the, the area where you just slide it in and which we've said in prior videos, it's important to get the corners in first, and then you just start gently pressing down, and like with any product, the first time you try it, trial and error will be important as to how much is the best uh, amount to put in to get a full uh, roll of tobacco. I'm pressing it down, now I'm trying to even it out a bit, I think I have enough in there now. I'm not going to put any more in. And then, when you feel you have it down uh, in a proper manner, you close this glass top, and it should be ready to go. And sure enough, it did go. And look at that, right to the end. You can tell I'm a smoker. All right, here's the uh, uh, finished product of the uh, cigarette in the tube. And uh, once you're done, make sure you turn it off. So I turn the switch off and the blue light goes off. And now just clean it up a little bit. Put your tobacco back in the tray that you should have put alongside of you to make it easier. And... Uh, that's it, close it up, and uh, it's off, and we're finished. All right, thank you for watching, and we'll be back next week. Uh, once again, a reminder, all of the products we talk about uh, can be found easily at WindyCityCigars.com. This is the Power Roll 2. It's a little more advanced in that it makes a regular size cigarette and a king size cigarette. So you pull out of the box, it has the basic, like the same things. The uh, electric uh, cord, uh, the one year warranty, and if I can get it out of the box without 
any trouble. And here it is, here it comes. Okay, this is um, basically the same uh, size as the uh, Power One electric machine. It's, it's more sturdy, it's heavier. The tobacco, same place, goes in the middle. And you've got a little switch up in front. You can forward for the hundreds, regular size, and back for the king size cigarettes. Back over in here, and uh, one of these cigarettes should fit in. I'll try it. Okay. The basic setup for uh, this power roll tool is the same. You must plug it in, it's electric. There's a switch in the back, and you just turn it on, and again, the blue light is on, and it's ready to go. So, we'll start putting in the tobacco in the uh, slide down area. And I'll start pushing it in a little bit, corners first, as I keep repeating. But that is important, it gives you a nice even uh, roll in your, uh, in your uh, cigarette. Now the question is always, through trial and error, how much and how hard should you push it down? And try a little more here. Okay, this looks pretty good. Famous last words, right? This looks pretty good. Okay. Now it's ready. Is the tube in? The tube is not in yet. That one has tobacco in it. I'm gonna find the tube. And as I've been told a thousand times, do not grab it by the paper, grab it by the end. Put it in, goes in nice and smooth. Yeah, pretty, very good, Dave. Okay, turn down, it's gonna go. And what do we have here? Okay, this is the finished product, the cigarette. When you're done, once again, turn off the power. And it's finished. All right, thank you for watching, and we'll be back next week. Uh, once again, a reminder, all of the products we talk about uh, can be found easily at WindyCityCigars.com. This is the uh, Powermatic 2 cigarette injector comes in a box just like this, very easy, you know, not heavy at all, and here's what's inside. It's electric, so of course you have your cord, your power cord. And there are some brushes in here to uh, clean it out now and then after a certain amount of use. You probably want to brush and clean it out the tube uh, area a bit. And the actual injector comes wrapped up in a bag, very easy to get out, here it is. All right, uh, today I'm going to show you how to use the Powermatic 2 electric uh, roller. It's uh, easy to use. The first step of course is to plug it in to get the power. Then I think, I personally think it's easier to put the tube in first. And now the tobacco right in front in the chamber. Press it down 
and uh, like I said earlier, you, you'll get a feel for how much uh, you should put in, how you should spread it out, and how tight you want to put it down. I'm going to leave it just like that. Now, once again, power, make sure, power cord, make sure it's plugged in. In the back, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at it from the back, so you turn it on, you see the light goes on. And now it's ready to go. You push the lever down, tobacco goes in, and that was pretty good too, came to the top. I'm just going to set that down. You're done. You turn this off. And there's a jam. This light, this bottom light, you, you can see top light power on the bottom is the, the jam light. That'll start flashing. And uh, you want to take your, your brush, the other tool we provide, to clean it out before you start a, another uh, cigarette. And now when you're done using it, you once again, the back uh, lever here, button, make sure it's turned off. You see the light goes off. You wouldn't want to, or you don't want to, if, if the light is on, you don't want to accidentally push this down with no uh, a cigarette tube or uh, not the right amount of tobacco in. So always make certain that you have turned it off like that uh, and then you're done. All right, thank you for watching and we'll be back next week. Uh, once again, a reminder, all of the products we talk about uh, can be found easily at WindyCityCigars.com. Powermatic 3, which is, uh, you can see the picture in the box, and in a minute I'm going to be opening it and showing you uh, how it works. All right, we're gonna go um, step by step as the instruction sheet would uh, tell you to when you get it. We've already plugged it in, plugged it in the back, and uh, turned on the power. Now we choose the desired uh, density of the um, tube that we wanna use. Right now we're gonna use the Veracruz uh, Midnight, the darker one we showed you just a couple weeks ago. Our cruise uh, midnight is a king size, and of the three boxes you have here, you, I, I'll just keep pushing it around. Now I'm down to king, so it's w expecting uh, a, a amount of tobacco for a king size. The counter is at zero. My first one. Now we fill, put the tobacco in. And let's just put, we're going to probably make three or four today, make sure I have enough. Nah, that should be enough. I'll just... All right, the uh, tube is in, the tobacco is in, you close the top, all that's left, press the start button, I'll hold on to the end and it should be putting it in. Okay. Oh, that came out perfect. Perfect size. Uh, I, I hope you can see that the uh, tobacco, uh, after I hit start, it automatically uh, filled the uh, tube. 
it came right to the very end. So that that was that's great. I'll put this aside. Uh, I guess we'd like to try another tube. All right. What, the easiest thing about this um, Paramedic Three is that once I've put the tobacco in, I've closed it. That's it. I no longer have to keep opening and putting tobacco in, opening, putting tobacco in. It's it's set. Uh, you'll get a judgment on the uh, depending on the number of uh, cigarettes you want to make. And uh, let's get this one in. Okay, we have the bear cruise in, and the counter shows one. I've made one uh, cigarette, obviously. Tobacco's in. Once again, all I have to do is hit start. Okay, once again, comes out good. I like to tap it a little bit. See, it's coming out right at the end. Hitting the uh, king size button on the top was the exact uh, right uh, size. And I would probably want to tap it a bit. All right, this machine, uh, you may be wondering why there's different sizes. Uh, this button against shows you king. And there's a middle button that doesn't have no writing on it. Uh, that's kind of a judgment call on, on what you think uh, you want or need uh, for your cigarette. And then the 100 uh, mm uh, size. We'll take it back to king. Because every uh, tube I have here is a king. And everything I have here is a king. So this one is the Veracruz uh, Elegante. And we'll just, sometimes you have to pull out a little tobacco on the end. And you put it in. And I always have trouble putting it in. I don't know why, because it's very easy when I see it done properly. We've made two, so the counter's on two. The tobacco is in there, you don't have to worry about it. Hit start. And it's done. Okay, that's just a wee bit over the top. So I'll just tap it down a bit. We've uh, shown you our Paramatic 3. If it's not completely clear to you or you, anything you don't understand, please write in with your questions and we will answer them. Uh, next week we're going to compare the uh, Paramatic 3 with our other uh, cigarette rolling uh, machines and you will be able to see the difference. Uh, once again, it's uh, WindyCityCigars.com and that's where you can find everything.